This is Joe Farinaccio from SmallTrimerans.com. One of my highlights from 2010 was visiting the Annapolis Boat Show. And while I was there, I met up with legendary Trimoran designer Jim Brown. And Jim and I both visited the Triac Trimoran Kayak booth. We were able to meet with Thayer Ridgeway, who developed the Triac. Thayer let us hang out with him for a little while. There's Jim and Thayer joking around a little bit and hamming it up for the camera. We had a blast, especially Jim, who got in the Triac and asked Thayer all sorts of questions. And his enthusiasm for the boat was particularly infectious. Here they are talking about some of the accessories that come with the boat. A little while afterwards, I asked Thayer if he'd do a quick infomercial for smalltrimerans.com viewers. So let's listen in. Triac is a uh, one-seat, 18-foot uh, composite trimaran sailing kayak. Uh huh. It's uh, a lot of fun. It sails very, very well, about six, eight knots uh, with the mainsail mm -hmm. and uh, double digits with the spinnaker. And it was really designed from the ground up to be an excellent uh, paddling boat uh, with kayak-like paddling. Uh huh. And uh, just a great little uh, day sailer or a good little expedition vehicle. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, any particular features you want to point out for, uh, from this particular model here? Sure, absolutely. Um, let me just show you, it's got a really beautiful cockpit. It's very comfortable raised seating. Um, nice uh, foot pedal steering. These are actually Werner, uh, Werner Paddles foot pedal systems. All right. Um, it's a really simple uh, roller furling mainsail. Okay. So basically, um, you know, when the sail is furled and in the boat, you can paddle it just like a kayak. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, when you want to go sailing, you just store your paddle and you grab the uh, furling line and just unfurl the main. And off you go. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. quick. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize it was that quick. Just your main sheet. Oh, that's super. And then vice versa, you want to furl it. Now you're paddling. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And that's terrific. Uh, it's got gobs of uh, storage for the expedition people, or if you want to go to a picnic. Watertight bulkheads. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Man, this is a great, great thing to take for... Um, uh, if you're going to go like camp cruising or something like that, you could really do this. Absolutely. A lot of people do uh, three, four day camp trips in it. I've done about five days in San Juan Islands and it's just, it was really a great experience being able to uh, furl the sails and paddle along the shore and take pictures of bald eagles and <laughs> it was really cool. Oh, that's neat. That's really neat. You know, uh, one of the things that I found out recently, I didn't know, a lot of the guys are taking these um, uh, kayaks to go, they love to fish with their kayaks and I didn't know that was so big yeah. but there's something about kayaking and fishing that's really become popular it's, uh, recently. We're from San Diego and it's huge in Southern California and it's a small inexpensive boat that you can get out uh, to the fishing grounds with really quickly and um, you know, just have a nice platform to fish on. Yeah. Uh, I think the Triac's perfectly suited for that. Uh, you know, you can sail out to the fishing grounds, get there pretty quickly. It's incredibly stable. You just furl the sail. You can literally stand up or sit down and, you know, fly cast or just chuck your spinner rod out there. And, you know, if you catch a big tuna, you can go for a ride and exactly. land a big fish. Exactly. <laughs> well, the, you know, the Triac, or uh, the Trimaran configuration is really, I think, ideal just because of the stability yeah. factor yeah. if you're going to fish. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now this sure. is great. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing uh, with us here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pan around the boat a little bit more and uh, get some good shots. Yeah, please do. That'd be great. Thanks. You know, it does. It breaks down really easily with uh, four hand bolts, so it's all tool free. Okay. Um, the mass step is really simple. You know, this thing just pops right off. Okay. So, you know, for breaking down and uh, you know setting up. It's about you know, 15 to 30 minutes, and they're car toppable. Car toppable, which is really nice. Yeah, you know, here's one all broken down. You just have a couple main components. Right. Whole thing assembled. Uh, as you see, this blue boat is 100 pounds. Wow. So it's pretty lightweight. And let me, I'll just show you. They'll launch the spinnaker. We have a little uh, spinnaker snuffer bag mounted on the bow. Okay. So it has a retrieval line. So when you're, you know, you want to douse it, you pull the retrieval line. It sucks it into the bag. Okay. Sailing along, you want to launch it, you just grab this halyard. Okay. Wow. 
uh, this is kind of more for the sailing junkie. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's really fun. Uh, it's a spinnaker. It's an asymmetrical. It's really designed for reaching and running. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a hoot. Oh, man. Oh, I, I love how everything just goes so quickly, so fast. What was that? I love how everything just goes quickly, so fast. Yeah. It can be set up. Try to make it uh, as easy to use as possible. And exactly. Get you having fun. Quickly. Well, Claire, thank, thank you so much for your time hey, thank you, Joe. and Appreciate for showing this. This is great. This was one spot that I really wanted to be here at today. Appreciate it. We thank you so much. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you stop by. Thank you. Thank you.